What is up everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We've been talking about the comparison between the new iPhone SE and the Pixel 3a. Let's go ahead and get into a photo comparison and video comparison in this video. The hardware couldn't be any different on these two devices, but we're not going to discuss build quality here. We're going to talk about the actual camera setup and the photos they shoot. These are both $400 phones with a single 12 megapixel rear camera. The iPhone has a 7 megapixel front camera and the Pixel 3a has a 8 megapixel front camera. They both can shoot video at 4K, one's limited to 30 frames per second on the Pixel and 60 on the iPhone. So you can see these two devices right here and they look amazing. The, the quality is good. One's built of glass obviously, one's built of polycarbonate plastic. The displays I did have a little trouble looking at in daylight on that Pixel 3a and the iPhone. but Needless to say, let's take a look at these photos and see how they came out. So, first things first, you can see just how much more of a pop the iPhone camera does provide. I personally see it as a little more true to life, and especially in bright daylight shots like this, you cannot go wrong with either of these cameras. Uh, the camera quality looks great. They make these images look very vibrant, and I personally prefer that. They're not too overly saturated. They look really well. You can see on these blades of grass here just how well defined in bright daylight it looks. Same with these flowers. You do not have that telephoto uh, camera on here so it's really hard to get different type shots but without that you can see just the kind of dynamic range that you're still getting with both cameras at this price point. I think the iPhone holds it together a little better in the dark areas, but not by much. Now you are getting portrait modes on both of these with the single camera. Obviously with the iPhone you actually get all six of their options for their photos. And you can see here all of those exact options that we were just talking about. If you really want to get creative and play around with those filters, you have that as well. Now they also do do 4K video, like I said, the iPhone is going to shoot it at 60 frames and the Pixel at 30. Here's a quick little sample of that. And you can see just how stable both look while walking. I actually jog a little bit here and it stays very true. You can't go wrong with either of these, but I do think the iPhone takes a little better video. Now you're also able to take slow motion footage, as you can see here, both at 240 frames per second or 120 up to you this is 240 I keep it on that setting because it does look a little better to me personally I think the iPhone slow motion video does look the best what do you guys think all right guys so you guys can see the difference in the cameras they are so so good right now you can't go wrong with either device really and just for a little added incentive I'm actually shooting this on the iPhone SE's front camera and yes it's limited to 1080 30 but you can see just how well the quality is on this also so really guys you can't go wrong with either but what do you guys like the best? Leave a comment down below. Find us on Twitter. Go follow us at Phones and Drones. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a whole bunch more videos in regards to the Pixel 3a with the OnePlus 8. That's coming next. And so many more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.